Good morning. It's the Daily Word, Monday, October the 5th. It's the day after St. Francis Day, and I think of uh, you know, nature and St. Francis. And we'll get right back outside in a second for the, uh, the car that was coming down that deserted mountain road. So uh, I'll just take a moment to say that the St. Francis uh, Sunday Mass had a reflection on the canticle. And so if you didn't see the Sunday Mass, go to our website and look at it. We did a, a, a good meditation on St. Francis and nature, okay? And uh, so now we're going to talk about the, the saint of the day for a second. As you might imagine, there's a, there's a large uh, following of him here in Maryland. Um, and so he really does deserve to get some attention today. And he does on the church calendar now. He's still on his way to becoming a, a saint. It was in 2000 that he was beatified. He's mostly known just for his loving heart and a loving heart in the hearing confessions and being open to just all types of people in his work. And it's just very flexible uh, in how he would love whomever, however, whatever. Hello, it's October 5th, it's Monday, and this is our Daily Word. Some people say rainy days and Mondays always get me down, like the old song goes. Not so much for me today. I'm not in Maryland when I make this tape for you. I decided to go and just take a, a fall foliage drive and look around and see what's out there to see. So where I am on my little journey, there's a lot of colors to look at. And an interesting cloud formation going on is I'm up in the mountains, the clouds are lower than the tops of these peaks. These animals seem to be having a peaceful morning, just kind of hanging out there. <laughs> The gospel for this day is, uh, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. And sometimes God makes it easy by just saying, look at this lovely world I put out here for you. And I say, I love you, Lord. I can love you that uh, I'm alive, and that I can uh, behold, you know, the splendor. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, says the lion in the word, and so does the earth. The earth unfolds the beauty and revelation of God. While I leave you into autumn, even in just in your backyard, I pray you can welcome autumn in and maybe go to a pumpkin patch or take a countryside drive or as I finish out, I think of Francis uh, Xavier Silos, the saint of the day, who roamed through Maryland uh, back in the day of many more stone bridges over rivers and creeks and, and uh, covered bridges like this. Uh, St. Francis, you uh, saw nature up close and, you know, walking or riding a horse slowly. And I just thank you for your intercession and Pray also for your intercession for, uh, I remember when you went to visit Abraham Lincoln and asked for a few favors, being a well-known priest of the area, and Lincoln granted it, respecting uh, the Catholic faith of the, you know, the peoples here in the old line state. I pray that you can grant us some favors here today on your feast day for the goodness of the Catholic Church and her presence in Maryland. Amen.